o'clock here. Had a pretty good hunt this morning. We got in a little late, you know, we got up, I don't know, 5.45 or so. Got up in the stand, had a buck come right at first light. Had like a little four pointer come. And uh, Shannon was actually videoing the whole time. And the buck came right up underneath of us. And uh, he was videoing and came to like five yards, but when he saved the video, it says it couldn't play it back. So I don't know if we have like a card issue or, or what's going on there, but he was the only deer we saw this morning. Uh, we're, like I said earlier, we're just looking to kill a doe tonight, so uh, Shannon and I came over here to the farm. We're going to hunt the edge of this field that we're in right now. Um, got some good does traveling through here. We saw a doe here earlier when we came by. Um, temperatures are good. I think it's right at 60, 60 couple degrees. Um, hopefully it cools off. We got a pretty decent wind. We're trying to sit up pretty high in these climbers and see if we can't get our thermals to go above where these deer are going to be coming from. Um, but it's shaping up to be a good night. Hopefully we can get you some good footage. Hopefully get you a kill on film. So, stick around. <laughs>
Oh man, well, temperature really didn't change a whole lot the whole night. Um, we had a couple of does come running behind us. A mom and a little fawn came in probably 15 yards behind us, but it's like thick back there. They kind of worked their way down the fence line. I couldn't really get a shot right behind me. Uh, Shannon was probably 25 feet up in the tree and I was right under him. I mean, I was probably at least 20 feet up there. Um, we had two does come out in front of us. Shannon got video of them. And uh, we're not really sure exactly why they blew at us, but I don't know, it was probably six o'clock and they started blowing at us and they went back down the ridge. And then right at like 6.55, I'm not sure if it's the same doe or not that was blowing at us, but a spike came up with her right up to us, just like we wanted to. There's a big uh, white oak tree that we're sitting right right beside and we it was dropping acorns all night long. Um, the spike came up first and that doe, I don't know, she was trotting right after him. She came in, gave me like a 28 yard shot and I think I double lunged her. We watched, uh, we watched the footage back. It looked good. It sounded good. Um, and then we marked my arrow right here. Shannon's looming off. Marked the arrow right here. So I think we're going to get on the blood trail and see if we can find her. So see you at the end of the blood trail. All right, well, there's first blood. I'm going to pull this arrow out of the ground. I'm just going to leave mine here for reference. Coated. It doesn't smell like gut. It's got good blood on that, on the fleshings. It also don't help that I got a red fleshing. But stick that in the ground beside Shannon so we can get on this blood trail. Cause she kind of wheeled when I hit her, and she looked like she was going down when she left the field. But I know she went right up this way and wheeled. And I can't tell, it looks like there's like bubbles in it, but I cannot tell. It's a little darker red in color. So I'm not sure if I hit it in the top of the shoulder. That sounded really good. There's a big pile right there. There's a big old pile of blood. blood going this way. A lot of blood on this leaf right here. It's kind of hard to trail in this grass. We might just have to go up where we think we're shooting in. We're not sure. crazy. She sprayed it all the way up that daggone tree. Briars everywhere. She took us to the thicket. More blood on this tree right here. A lot of blood right here on the ground. Actually, there's some fresh doe poop right there. And uh, I don't know how exactly far we are on the trail, but Shannon and I stuck the light up and we see her laying down there. She probably only made it, I'd say. What do you think? 100 yards? 125 maybe? She wouldn't have done a circle less than that. Yeah, she was running downhill most of the way too. I'm, like, I'm excited to see where I hit her at because I think I made a really good shot. Just, I've never seen a deer bleed like this and go over 100 yards. There's so much blood. Let's go put our hands on her. see right here she came up that uphill and it kind of rolled and fell back down the hill there's a huge pile of blood right here i think a heart shot her looks like i hit her in front of the shoulder and she stumbled she's stumbling right through here Hole. Looks like I hit her a little far forward in front of the shoulder. I kind of was aiming right there at the V in the back of the shoulder, so I think her foot, I think her shoulder was back when I shot. I want to see where the exit is. Man. I think I heart shot her. If that, if that foot would have been back. 
<laughs> yeah, I think that would have been more of a heart shot. Yeah. What, a, what a hole. There's a lot of bubbles in this blood, so I at least nicked one lung. She might have been quartering to me ever so slightly. She's, yeah, she's been dead since I shot her. I mean, with a hole like that in your side, I don't think you can make it. Don't think you can make it very far. But she ended up making it. I think 125, 130 yards. So, man, I have a lot of respect for these animals. Put a big Magnus black hole in it, and her, she took it. Got a lot of respect for them. So. This was my goal, really. This whole year, I told Shannon at the beginning of the year, my whole goal was to shoot a doe on film, because I really, really wanted to have a bow kill on film. I've never had a bow kill on film since my first one, so pretty proud of that. Looks like I need to aim a little better next time, but just thank God that we got her done. He's blessed me with some good friends, some great place to hunt, some good buddies, and I can't thank him enough for that. So. Also, shout out to Shannon for letting me come hunt. I can't, I can't thank you enough for that. So we got us a, we got some work cut out for us now. It's a pretty big doe. So whenever we get her home, yeah, we'll we gotta show get you her out of this thicket. Yeah, we gotta get her out of this thicket. Whenever we get her home, we'll have to show you Shannon's little. Uh, have to show you Shannon's little rig he's got on the back of his truck so he can hang his deer up. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to using that for the first time, but. Thanks for watching this Trail Wild video. I don't know if we've had a lot of a lot of deer videos yet since we changed the name, but I'm really looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting the edit out. And man, it's been a great opening day. September 25th. What a day. Thank y'all for watching it. All right, y'all. Well, here is my first Tennessee doe. First doe I've ever shot in Tennessee. Like I said before, it was September the 25th, opening day. Tennessee archery season. Shannon and I never hunted the velvet hunt. Uh, but yeah, I got this big doe tonight. Just wanted to wrap up the hunt a little bit. Had a good hunt this morning. I saw a four point, but like I said, we couldn't get it on camera because Shannon was filming it and the SD card malfunctioned for some reason. And he came into like five yards and we passed him. Um, and then this evening, had a really, really good hunt. Had a doe and a fawn come in really close, right behind us at 10 yards. Um, but I couldn't shoot because it was directly behind me. Um, had, the doe, had two does come in the field. They started blowing around six o'clock and then right before last light, I think the sun was setting right at 6.50. So you know, you got 15 minutes after sunset. And this doe came in, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes after that with a spike right at last light. I mean, I know the camera, the camera light's not very good, but uh, she gave me a 28 yard shot. And as you can see, her, her leg was back. So I hit her forward. I think I heart shot her. We haven't, we haven't looked to see. Uh, but the but the opposite sh side shot came out right in the peak of her shoulder right here So she was quartering to me just ever so slightly um, But yeah, like you saw we tracked her she uh, she went about 125 yards Of course, it was directly downhill. So Shannon and I have had a fun fun experience trying to drag her up this this thicket, but uh, Hey making memories. It's been fun My whole goal was to kill a deer on video mostly doe and uh, Now we can look forward to having the whole season buck hunt it's been a long season for me because last year um, unfortunately I had two shoulder surgeries so my main goal this year was to shoot a doe with a bow and get on video I told Shannon that from the beginning it's been a long recovery um, I had my had my second surgery the first week of July and I've just been god I've been going crazy just wanting to come out here and hunt it's been it's been a great experience and I'm just thankful to be able to draw a bow again it's been a good time so we're gonna get her cleaned up, quartered up, and Shannon and I are gonna decide if we wanna go ahead and try to do a clean and cut and cook and see if we can't cook you something up, make you a recipe or something. But we'll see how that goes. I'm so, starving. I'm starving too, we need to get something to eat. These mosquitoes and freaking flies are eating us alive. So we're gonna go ahead and get her loaded up, throw her in the bed of the truck, get out of here. Thank y'all for watching Trail Wild, we appreciate it.